Hello people, in this we want to look at the options which are available for rehabilitation of the hearing impaired. All the options we want to look at, okay. So basically here they have instruments and training. Training is like lip reading, auditory training, right, speech conversation, all these things. Look at this, speech reading is nothing but lip reading guys, okay. And um, what is auditory training? This is used in addition to lip reading, okay. Basically, this is for people who already have hearing aids, okay. So, they will learn how to listen, fine. So, you got what auditory training is. Then lastly, speech conversation. So, basically, this is used in sudden um, hearing loss. So, the person, he won't be able to monitor his own voice, right. He doesn't, he has lost his hearing, or but he knows how to talk. So, for such people, there is speech conversation. It aims at educating such a person to use his tactile and proprioceptive feedback system to monitor his speech production. So, this is in sudden hearing loss. So, what will he do? He will monitor speech production. Teach him how to monitor his own speech production. Is this clear, guys? So, this much we have looked at mainly. Mainly we are focusing currently on this part and what you think guys here they only are talking about uh, lip reading and all that. Why aren't they talking about sign language like this which is sign language or written communication is also possible right. Isn't that a rehabilitation of the hearing impaired? Why have they not included those two in this uh, list? Not sure. Anyway so now we will move on to this part of it instrumental devices okay. Now uh, we have finished what? Training, training we have finished. Now we are going to instrumental devices. Yes, instrumental devices can be just three things. Hearing aids, implants, assistive devices for the deaf. So what three things you will write? Hearing aids, implants, assistive devices for the deaf. What are these assistive devices? Look at, let us look at these assistive devices also guys. Basically these devices, you know, they just warn them of some dangers, etc. You know, so that they can telecommunicate with other people, right? So, what they are telling here is uh, uh, that you can give them some device so that they can hear in a noisy environment or you have alerting devices produce extra loud sounds or uh, you know there is a light signal. So, when the doorbell is pressed instead of them waiting to hear the doorbell a light flashes right. So, that is a possibility light uh, signal or you can keep your phone in vibrator mode right if you don't want to hear if you are not able to hear the ringtone. So, these are alerting devices etc. Then you have telecommunication devices for deaf, that is TDD, telecommunication devices for deaf. You can convert text to voice, voice to text, what not nowadays. You have email and SMS which helps the person to communicate. And when they are watching TV or anything, they don't have to listen the subtitles or the closed captions, what they call in the US. That will help the person, right? So you have understood overall uh, some things here, right? We are trying to rehabilitate the hearing impaired. Two main categories we have finished. What in all? Under instruments, uh, we finished assisted devices for the deaf and we also finished some training part, right? Now, main instruments are left. Let's look at the instruments. So, coming to uh, the, the main instruments, here you are talking about hearing aids and implants. Let us look at hearing aids. This is something that you know from long, right? You know these things, uh, hearing aid. What is a hearing aid? Let's put it as aid because aids sounds really bad. Okay, so a hearing aid can be a conventional hearing aid like what you're seeing here or a bone anchored hearing aid. Now, what is that? A bone anchored one and an implantable hearing aid. You can implant the hearing aid, is it? Let's look at those and you have uh, under this implantable hearing aid, you have what is called as the vibrant sound bridge. And under the implants, just two things, cochlear implants and brain uh, uh, auditory brain stem implant. You implant something in the cochlea or in the brain stem. So, those will become the implants. What are you talking about here? Hearing aid, conventional hearing aid, bone anchored hearing aid and implantable hearing aid. See this word implantable hearing aid is here and implants are here. So, do not get confused. The vibrant sound bridge is coming under the implantable hearing aid. We, we will look at all these and try to understand clearly what each is. Okay. So, look at this uh, classification here from a different textbook. More or less the same, okay, slightly different, they have arranged it. Anyways, we are not going into this one. Let us get started with hearing aid. Hearing aid, let us look at photos to understand, okay. 
So basically a hearing aid consists of a microphone, amplifier and receiver. What does it have? A microphone so that it, it will listen, right? First of all, it has to listen and then it will amplify the sound and there is a receiver. Okay, it does not have any speech processor and electrode array, electrode array that it doesn't have. Only what it doesn't have, what it has, you remember, microphone, amplifier and receiver. So you have conventional, three things only they told under hearing aid. Conventional hearing aid, bone anchored hearing aid and implantable hearing aid. Under conventional like what you see here, you have um, air conduction hearing aid mainly. These, mainly these are air conduction hearing aid. They have put bone conduction. But mainly air conduction hearing aids these are. These are analog or digital. Like uh, what you can see here is uh, like a behind the ear type of a hearing aid. Let's look at it a little in detail. So what are they talking about? Where is that microphone? Where is that receiver? Receiver is here. Where is that amplifier? Where is that amplifier? You have a volume control, guys. See, there's a volume control here for the hearing aid. Okay, there's an ear hook battery door. So, they have to put a battery. Okay. So, basically, this one is the behind the ear type. So, you can see here, it is worn behind the ear, right? So, similarly, you have a lot of other things. Canal types in the canal, uh, completely in the canal kind of words. Okay, what is ITC? in the canal, CIC completely in the canal, what is ITE in the ear types, what is in the ear, okay. Canal is not ear, is it, what is it, guys, this one is a body worn, they can wear it on the body instead of the ear, okay, this is a body worn uh, hearing aid, this is a behind the ear which you just saw, this is uh, what you are seeing down here is a spectacle variety where it sits on the spectacle and the ear, right, in, and this one lastly what they are showing here is in the ear type, okay, this is in the ear type. Okay, let's look at some more images, guys. So, what is this? Behind the ear hearing aid in position and its parts. Okay, so we got the parts now. Where is the microphone? Okay, right here is the microphone. Where is our amplifier? Amplifier they did not show. Okay, let's look at a few more images. This is body worn. This is behind the ear. This is in the ear. This is in the canal. And this is completely in the canal. Very good. This one is in the ear. It's a little external only, you can say. This is in the canal. Okay, then. This is completely in the canal, guys. And this one is behind the ear. Okay. We got a, an idea. Now, look at these. All these are in the canal. This is in the canal. This is in the canal. This is completely in the canal. And this is also in the canal. Okay. Guys, nice. this one terminology you will need to know here in the hearing aid conventional one. The cross contralateral routing of signal so it looks like from one side the signal is going to the other side like this if this is one ear and this is another ear it goes something like that okay the microphone is fitted on the deaf ear so let us say this is a deaf ear okay so the microphone this is the deaf one so they put a microphone here which will listen right so the sound from the side the microphone will pick up and it will relate to this side right to the uh, better ear so the receiver is on the better ear so what happened from this side also he will hear and this side also he will hear but i how will he distinguish from where it came maybe they have ways of doing that but here they are saying that bone anchored hearing aids are preferred for this kind of single um, uh, sided deafness they are preferring bone anchored hearing aid now let's shall we move on to bone anchored hearing aid guys what have we finished so far we finished training, we finished assistive devices, we are in hearing aid, we have finished conventional, now we have to go to bone anchored hearing aid. Guys, in the next video, we will look at uh, the bone anchored hearing aid, etc. See, what we will look at is this conventional hearing aids, what are, the, what are the disadvantages that you want to go for something else? Because these are cosmetically unacceptable, you can see them, right? And there is some acoustic feedback, spectral distortion, there is a lot of feedback distortion that they get. Occlusion of the ex external auditory canal. Do you like your external auditory canal to be occluded at all times? That's a very first thing probably. They don't like it. Collection of wax. So, in the canal, there will be collection of wax. Okay. So, behind this uh, ear uh, device, hearing device, there could be collection of wax and the, there can be blockage, right? Sensitivity of canal uh, skin to ear molds. Ear mold is nothing but what you're seeing here. This plastic which is molded to look, uh, you know, to fit into the ear. This ear mold, the, the the skin of the canal may be sensitive to this material, right? And there could be problem 
uh, in pathology, uh, some pathologies like discharging ear and all, if there is ear discharge, etc., that you cannot put these conventional hearing aid. In the next video, we will go to bone anchored hearing aid, etc. So, meet us in the next video to learn bone anchored hearing aid.